Hello everyone and welcome to Applicable Tech. In today's video I'm going to be unboxing this, the mystery parcel from Amazon. It's not really a mystery, it's a motherboard. It's a Z390 Asus MATX. I think it's the plus, I'm not entirely sure. Now, there is a bit of a backstory for this parcel, in fact. I did a build on the channel a couple of months ago. None of you have seen it, so uh, please do watch it. It's just up there. It's an embarrassment at the moment. But anyway, it was supposed to be one of those fun builds, you know. Sorry about the noise with that. Now, I used all last generation parts, so from Z370, a 10 series GPU and an 8th gen Intel processor. And it, like I say, was supposed to be fun, but it went completely wrong. It wouldn't post. It looked very, very pretty, but wouldn't post. I had to use another motherboard. And even in that motherboard, oh, what are you? Oh, I forgot about, oh yes, the Wi-Fi adapter. Totally forgot, this motherboard doesn't have Wi-Fi. There's a snippet for you. All of the wonderful packaging that they sent. Let's just get it with one big stack. I'm from England, you see, and we, we are good with knives, apparently. I see it on the news every day. But anywho, that's enough of that. It's, I'm right, it's the Prime. The Z390M. Fantastic. M meaning MATX, I'm sure. But anyway, like I was saying, the computer wouldn't post. I did change the motherboard and got it to work. However, I could only get one channel of memory working. I could only use the ATX PCIe slot and only one of the three M.2 connectors actually registered, which led me to believe it was in fact a processor. But I was, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It might be the I.O. controller on the processor, but it could also be the board. So I thought I'd check it out. But here we are. Look, I've never actually used an MATX motherboard. So let's open it up and uh, see what's inside. So I'm curious what this like. You're seeing it before I am. So what have we got? The motherboard. Nice stuff. Not the neatestly and most desirable packaging in the world, but it is the anti-static. What is this? Oh, all of our, all of the jazz. Let's just get that there. We'll keep the motherboard box. So I'll uh, use it as a plinth, I'm sure. Now, I've not seen this before, and there are a couple of reasons why I chose this one specifically, but the, uh, the main reason for choosing this was it was the cheapest I could find. Now, that is a good waste of cardboard, I'm sure. But what have we got? Like I said, it's the cheapest I could find, so no IO shield built onto it. So there it is. Pretty good. We've got our standoffs and screws. Just one bag for both of them. That's very good. Cut down on uh, wasteful plastics and therefore the M.2 slash MVMEs. Uh, we've got a disc. Epic work, Asus. Every time. Just throw them away. The user guide. Now I probably will have a little read through this. I normally mock it, but that's tiny. So that's well done, Asus. A defin definite plus from me. You get it? Plus? Ha <laughs> ha. Um, some more jazz. Time to gear up. Here's your coupon for 20% off cable mod cables. I will take you up on that, Asus. Thank you. I'll bob that to one side. And I believe this is the multilingual. I always do say I love the multilingual stuff. But let's have a look at the board itself. Oh, and two SATA connections. Fantastic. Anyway, what have we got? Get the box in. Like I said, it is the cheapest, and you can tell. It's just a very ugly looking board. Very ugly. And the heatsink feels like it moves. That's never a good sign. Not the best build quality ever. But let's have a look and see what we've got. It's a fairly standard layout, to be fair. We've got the 8-pin connector up here. We definitely don't need more than one. Because looking at this, we've got two, four, six, eight, nine chokes. So nine-phase VRM. And a heatsink that wobbles. Yep, both of them wobble. I'm not even sure what it's moving the heat from, to be fair. It's uh, quite... Whatever. Uh, the reason I went for this one specifically is the four RAM DIMMs. I do need that. And with it being a Z390, I know that dropping an 8700K in here will just work. The BIOS will already be updated to that. In terms of fan headers, normally on MATX, even though I've not built on one, I have seen a fair few. They don't have many. And on here is none too different than that. We've got the standard two for the CPU fan and CPU optional. We've got another fan header here and another four pin here. So four PWM connectors from what I can see. There doesn't seem to be any more hiding anywhere, sadly. Um, we have 16x PCIe slot. There's nothing armoured about it. It's just a lump of plastic. And then we've got the, uh, the ATX down here and the two smaller ones, which we will need for this, because this motherboard is not Wi-Fi enabled. So you will need to add your own Wi-Fi should you be getting this. But I guess that's why it's cheap. We've also got a lovely, pretty little heatsink here, just over the Z390 chipset. How very, very lovely. Um, in terms of connectors, let's carry on. We've got the USB 3 in the standard place, and then we've got two SATA connections here, but we also have another two down here, so four in total. Uh, the standard USB 2 connectors down here, and is that another USB 3? I think it might be. That's quite... 
that's quite good. Quite happy with that. Quite happy with that. The case connector's in the standard spot. Uh, the HD audio, I believe, will also be down here, because that's where it usually goes. Yep, it does look like it. And we've got the RGB header. Well, epic work. An RGB header is exactly what I need in life. So, on the I.O. Very bleak looking. Very bleak looking. If we take a look here, we've got the PS2 connectors. You also, you always know it's not going very well for you if you're still using PS2. And VGA. Epic stuff. It does have the uh, audio pin in there as well also. Then we've got HDMI. I'm not sure this is HDMI too. I think it's just standard HDMI. So 4K 30. Bit poor. Then we've got here the uh, two USB 3.1s, I believe, Type A's, and another four USB uh, 3s. So very good again, Type A's. And that's just a one gigabit LAN in there, and then more dodgy old looking controllers for keyboard, mouse, etc., or anything that uses an audio jack. So I'm guessing the mic and all of that jazz. Now, like I said, this is nine phase VRM which for a small board like this is plenty, and it will be plentiful for an 8700K that I am putting in here. I do intend to overclock it, but not, I say overclock, all core multiplier, just a 4.7, because I'm not going to be water cooling this. I'm probably just going to use, where are you? I'm sure I've seen one here somewhere. Oh, there we are. A Hyper 212. I've had this for quite some time and not used it, so I'm probably going to whack that in. But again, all this depends on whether or not the issue with the problem PC is in fact the motherboard. I do firmly firmly believe that it is but that's pretty much it i'm oh what's this not entirely sure but yeah not a very attractive motherboard probably not going to be the uh the greatest bit of kit that i've got in the uh, in the repertoire and we've also got a, a thing up here which is called mem okay so i'm guessing it's something to do with memory potentially overclocking but you have a switch on or off now if that turns out simply to be the uh, xmp that'll be very very funny but I hope that it is, because that'll be fun. But there we are, everyone. Um, yeah, if this does work, I will do a build. I'll probably put that video up. I'm probably not going to show the troubleshooting process that I go through. I might, I may show a few clips of it within that video, but it's a long drawn out process and I can't be bothered filming all of that time. But if you have enjoyed this video, this utterly pointless unboxing and rundown that I've just bequeathed upon you all, then don't forget to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Now, if you do want to see this in a build, because if I am right, I will do a build, like I've said, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and that'll, uh, well, it'll give you a good reminder when I'm actually putting the video up. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you have a lovely evening and the rest of your life. In fact, COVID is nearly over. Winning.